Technology risk means um, if if a fleet operator is buying a new kind of truck, in this case, in this case, a, Vol a Volta Zero, it's an electric truck, but not only it also comes from a new OEM. It doesn't, it didn't exist before. It's something completely new. The cabin is different. The design is different. It operates in slightly different ways. So when when someone buys an asset, when when a fleet operator adds this asset to their to their fleet, they are making a huge investment, right? And this is probably the 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 most significant investment for for someone in this business in the logistics business. If they buy a truck that is completely new with a new technology, the, the technology risk means that they won't they don't know how much it will be worth in a few years down the line. Whereas if you compare this to a traditional truck if, if, or a traditional vehicle, if they buy a vehicle that's been in the market for, for several years, you, you can make predictions. You can, be, you can make very accurate predictions of, okay, if I depreciate my, my vehicle in eight years, I know how much I can sell it for afterwards. And then, and then you, can, you can control your business better. So now with this technology risk, um, that, that helps this trend because we see... Uh, more and more customers opting for what what's known as an operating lease. An operating lease is also known as a, a long-term rental. In an operating lease, uh, the 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 customer uses the vehicle for a long time, but it's always owned by a bank, by that by a leasing bank. And at the end of the leasing period, the, the the owner returns the vehicle to the bank. Right? He doesn't keep it. But the bank is making a, an assumption on the residual value at the end of the operating lease, which means that during the whole lease period, the customer is paying less. A, 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 a less than the total value of the vehicle. So it has this advantage as well. And then as banks own more and more vehicles, they become fleet owners. They are they become the actual fleet owners. So they are the ones who have an interest of these vehicles having a high residual value at the end of these periods. So then, they, then you start bundling not only the operating lease contracts, you also bundle them with maintenance and service contracts to make sure that during the whole lease, the, the, the vehicles are are well taken care of and you maximize the residual value. So by so this generates a positive cycle on which leasing companies manage to get higher residual values so that they can help customers pay lower amounts in the leasing periods and the technology risk is completely removed from, removed from customers.